to another episode of NGWN Music News. If it ain't new, news, it ain't music. And as promised, we are going to kick off this show by talking about this. It is Arctic Monkeys' latest album, Tranquility Base Hotel and Casino. And to say the media is in a frenzy is a massive understatement. How did it happen? NME are citing the end of days as they stipulate this record may be the monkey's final record. God, let it be so. <sighs> and it has even been revealed that Leonard Cohen da -da -da, is an inspiration oh, no. behind this oh, album. Oh, oh, oh. However, I tend to believe that it'd be much more like Ziggy Stardust on a lot of lewds. The record has received mixed reviews so far, even leaving the ever-wise Noel Gallagher lost for words. I mean, come on, like this guy, <laughs> who said he simply doesn't know what to make of this album. I'm not crazy! Uh, while he was being interviewed on Radio X. Yeah, well I do, but this show is for kids, so we're gonna have to leave that part out. And me? Oh, there's all me? What do I think of it? You dumbass. Well, I think the answer is simple. Just like their last record, the Arctic Monkeys have tried to adopt a sound that is not theirs. And with Tranquility Base Hotel and Brothel, we see them floundering again, having traded their desert rock and denim jackets, first space suits, and a Ziggy Stardust themed hotel. Yeah. I don't know about you guys, but I think they looked much better when they were on the dance floor. And in other recording news, Drake has completely lost the plot. Well, again, okay? We did it before, now again. And decided that the only solution to his waning career is a collab with his Canadian brother, a poor anchor. What the? Yep. The My Way writer has confirmed the collab of the decade, which is due to be released in June. He's pretty cool when he doesn't have a boner. And like a bag of poutine, we can all expect the grease to leak and just ruin our favorite jumpers. Thanks for your cooperation. Hey, does your band need a gig? Well, check out these guys. They're called Gig Ride. Gig Ride! I believe I can... Following in Liam Gallagher's footsteps are 90s group, The Spicy Girls, ah, boy. who have decided that if Liam does it, they must too, and as such, plan to make a tell-all documentary, look at that, tell-all documentary, about <laughs> one of Pop's most terrifying groups. I mean, look at them, seriously. Scary, crazy, going to kill you, going to eat you, and going to chew your ear off about the fact that she married up and she still has no life. Right, that's enough of them. Go off. It is time for our Stalker of the Week. Eduardo Leon, who managed to spend a total of 12 glorious hours in Rihanna's home before being spotted by her assistant, who ratted him out. No, no. Not cool. Not cool at all. And the brazen Mr. Leon is potentially facing six years imprisonment for his heroic act. And did he steal? Did he harm? Did he do anything other than peek into the reality of the 1%? I believe he did not. But hey, it makes sense seeing as the US can't even make its mind up about marijuana prohibition. Why should they have the sensitivity and understanding in this situation either? And Andre 3000, he has returned from interstellar travel and he has brought us two new songs in honor of his parents. And one of them sounds like this. Yeah. from that and allow me to present you with this week's bad and so dang ugly buggly sitting in the ugly position we have skating polly whose release the make it all show is just a bit weird 
Like a flower child skipping aimlessly through a field, this album is sure to leave you lost and just a little bit confused. LOL! And well, we all know who this smelly album belongs to. It is the Arctic Monkeys Tranquility Base Hotel and Sewage Treatment Plant. Nuff said. <laughs> But making up for all the rubbish, it's Charlie Puth in the good spot. Okay, fine, it doesn't really make up for the rubbish, but at least I'm not tearing my ears off after two seconds, okay? And that's the week. This banana hammock in the suit, or maybe he's naked, I don't know what he's doing this time. It is really weird, he just gets in there and does stuff. He's doing stuff 8 p.m. Wednesdays every week. Dig it, dig it, dig it, go click it. And if you've got something to say, then just don't freaking spray. I've had enough of that spraying, yo, because I am out. I am the one, the one, the one.